why, if something is good, do you give a fuck who's got it? Like, will we do- Beast! What? Oh, no. They lost the fucking Joe Rogan coalition. Some of the strongest warriors, man. That's crazy. These are the beer drinkers, you know? On top of the alcoholics that we talked about, I mean, this is an audience that definitely still drinks the beer. What the fuck? Dude. I'm saying it again. There is no better indication that the GOP and its messaging campaign triangulating against trans people has been so fucking insane that even... Even Joe Rogan, who is literally a transphobic person, like he has cut a shitload of anti-trans propaganda, including bringing on Matt Walsh onto his broadcast. Like, who gives a fuck? Unless I'm speaking too soon, which could be the case. This is a wild... Wait, the dislikes? <laughs> 17K dislikes. 13K likes, 17K dislikes. Wow. Shocked. Do this with cheesecake. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there was like a bomb ass cheesecake and all of a sudden, you know, some radical group like uh -huh. Antifa. It's also kind of funny that me and Joseph Robinette Rogan's take on the matter is like almost identical, where it's like nobody gives a shit. If it tastes good, if it gets you fucked up, you drink it. Like, similar to what I've said about. Uh, similar to what I've said about Chick-fil-A. Similar to what Austin, a gay man, has said about Chick-fil-A. You know what I mean? It's like people are still going to have it. <laughs> really got into the cheesecake. We'd be like, fuck this. Yeah. And if the, it, like, if the Cheesecake Factory sent Antifa a cheesecake yeah. you know, ten, for 10 more years of chaos. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like a celebratory. A celebratory. Yeah. If only ISIS had bear claw donuts, yeah. I'm still eating those fucking But on the donuts. other hand, I love... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true. Yes. What are you gonna stop fucking eating? What are you gonna fucking stop eating bear claw donuts? Because ISIS endor they they endorse ISIS. Nope. Of Kid Rock's video. Because I love that. I love. Cheers. Cheers, man. I love that kind of thinking. There's Not even that I this. agree with it. I like wild people. Yeah. I, I like, I like a dude, raising hell, man. I like a dude who takes a machine gun to a stack of Bud Lights and yeah. is like, fuck Anheuser Busch. <laughs> this will then, show up. <laughs> but I mean, where's he going to go now? Are you going to go to Coors? Miller Lite? It, don't they all support like uh, LBGTQ plus AI, whatever yeah. the hell else they're at, attaching to issues? They yeah. all do. I mean, I'm from Colorado and Coors has had those rainbow cans forever. Fucking Shane Gillis is heartbroken. This I was is with his him. favorite beer. I was and opening for him last weekend. This is what sucks. He drinks Bud Light every time he does Protect Our Parks. Uh -huh. Those things have fucking millions of views. I know. Where's his can Spilled of beer? It. He Bud did not. Light. He was not. A, he said the exact same thing. He's problematic. Oh, yeah. He's an issue, man. He's an issue being uh, one of the funniest fucking human beings alive on planet Earth. Earth. And also generous and, and community-minded. a great guy. Yeah. But for whatever. Wait, who the fuck's he talking about? Who is he talking about? Is he talking about Shane Gillis? Oh, okay. I thought he was still talking about Kid Rock for a second. And I literally could not comprehend, like... Like, I, I, I was like... In my mind, I was thinking, like, there's no fucking way Joe Rogan is talking about Kid Rock as, like, such an objectively good guy. Like, he is... You could be... You could be absolutely fucking down the right wing pipeline and still be like, yeah, Kid Rock is kind of fucking weird and gross. Ever reason they won't give him a Bud Light. No, when he said Kid Rock was cool, he loves that type of thing. He was doing what I do all the time. I say the same exact shit about what Kid Rock did. Shoot a fucking machine gun. Shoot an MP5 at, uh, directly into a fucking tower of Bud Light. That's awesome. That's some dumbass yee yee shit. He's saying it's like funny ass content. And, and he is clearly against it. 17,000 people fucking understood and disliked the video. And yet some chatters in here could not comprehend what he was saying. They should give him some lips. If they were smart, they would send Shane a Bud Light with his face on it too. Yeah. Say, we love everybody. Well, the can's not big enough to fit his face. If 
That's true. He has a big round head. You could put like half of his face, yeah. like a, you know, like a like an artsy thing, right? Yeah. Then, then you, you have to put them all together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Whoa. Did you get a left side of the face or the right side? Bud Light sponsors the moon. So if you're two fisting, <laughs> yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. No, man. I think that uh, it's crazy when Gillis Tino, one of your biggest haters, and talking about you, really. I don't even know who you're talking about, but I mean, I like Shane Gillis's comedy special. I don't give a fuck who he uh, people get uh, upset about that or whatever because the people who get upset about that stuff value liberty and freedom so much, and they want to live their lives undeterred by anyone's rules. But they think that the company that they like is giving into the woke agenda. That's yeah, what it is. There's no woke agenda. Well, they think there is in like uh, movies and television and media and commercials. I was allegedly that, conceived like on Zima's. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah. Have your kid on a delicious, fruity, sort of uh, bubbly, soda-like yeah. alcoholic beverage. My mom and dad split a fucking 24-pack of Zima and made me in Glenwood Springs. Wasn't too strong. No. You know, Gave had a you nice a flavor. Gave you heartburn, though, dude. Did you, it? You can't have, like, eight of them. I've never had eight Zimas. I have. You've had eight? Yeah, because they brought them back, you know? Zima's a thing with, I'm not really trying to get drunk, you know? Like, if I'm trying uh, to get drunk, I'm drinking whiskey. If I'm drinking, I'm typically trying to get drunk. Always? Yeah. Don't you just like to have a little buzz? I'll have a little glass of wine here and there. There you go. Yeah, but that's like still, it's like a baby drunk. A buzz is still a baby drunk. <laughs> yeah. Zima drinks. I love Joe Rogan being like, yeah, I fucking hate that people are just like running an anti-woke agenda. Me, on the other hand, very woke agenda. My agenda is woke. Hello, I'm Joe Rogan. Uh, I certainly love the woke agenda. And... Uh, I mean, hey, I'll take it. It's returning to summer of 2018 for a limited time. Yep. Yeah, they try to bring it back. They brought Bro, him back. Bring it back. Yeah. Come on, Zima. I'm on your side. Yeah. I liked it. I liked them I a lot. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Fucking but, White Claws made it, but yeah, Zima's didn't. Well, well these are all sugar, over. though. But tell me. Tell me how the fuck White Claws made it and Zima did it. Is it a timing thing? Is it like Betamax and the VHS tape? Yeah. The superior product doesn't make it? Well, Zima had like 20 years head start on White Claw. Bro, I used to get so much shit for ordering Zima. They're like, what are you doing, bro? Well, were you at the pool hall? No. Okay. At the fucking improv on Melrose. <laughs> it's People on your writer. making fun of me. Yeah. Comics were making fun of me for drinking Zima. I'm like, I'm sorry. It's delicious. It looks like a post apocalyptic you should know about drink. Zima. Yeah. What, what do I need There's to know? No, Is it no bad way. for you? Yeah, what are the fun necessary. facts about Zima? There's no fun facts. <laughs> no, the branding sucks. <laughs> this Zima's like blockbuster video. It's like yeah. no one thought. I don't know what the fuck Zima is. People are saying that it's non-alcoholic, and some people are saying it is alcoholic. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it has alcohol in it or not. I, I truly do not know. Is it? It's like 90s White Claw. It's alcoholic. It's like Smirnoff Ice. Oh. It, so it literally is a seltzer. It's an alcoholic seltzer, which is ironic considering that. Uh, so he is right. Oh, it's alcoholic seltzer, but like uh, it didn't pop off, whereas White Claw did. That's kind of sad. I'd be sad to hear that. Thought it was going to go away, but here we are in a post Zima world. It's over. It's weird, because it was delicious. But it didn't taste bad at all. It's not a bad product. It was kind of viscous, though. Mmm. I mean, it had that kind of milky look to it when it was in the bottle for too long. Really? Yeah. I thought like, it was like Sprite. It started clear, but then if you had it on the shelf for a while. How long did you leave your Zima on a shelf? I remember my, I think my dad had like a couple yeah, Zimas look, in his office. Little... Honestly, are White Claws still popping? I, I, I feel like they had their peak. I don't know if they... I don't know if people are still drinking it as much as they did during their peak. I definitely feel like it it peaked and now it's like leveling out and uh and and just, you know, people still drink it for sure, but not to the same degree. A little milky. Milky. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, but that's just a, like skim a milk. CGI image. No, you that's think that's computer same, generated? It's the same <laughs> bottle over and over again. That's what it looks like. It looks like fucking soda. It's a, uh, a bottle of malt. delicious clear malt soda. I'd be more surprised <laughs> if you had Zima in here than that you have Mad Honey. <laughs> that would blow my mind I don't think even you more. Get it. You probably have to get it on eBay from your dad. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's got some cases. My dad takes the For helicopter sale. in. Yeah. Your dad's got some cases. I, but <laughs> the, the thing is like about this Dylan Mulvaney thing, it's like, it's just someone who wants a lot of attention, and you're giving that someone a lot of attention, and you're trying to reach another audience. Like, 
I, I saw it and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> My initial reaction is like, this is silly. It was pretty really transparent. Doing this? But it's also your um, Bud Light. Bro, this is literally like saying, I love crack cocaine, okay? Like, Chatter said, Mad Doc 2020 mixed with beer is fire. Like, that what you just described is so nasty. Like, especially as someone who has done it, I just, I, I do not recommend this. No more mention of Mad Dog 2020s. No MD 2020 mentioned in the chat, please. It's like, it's like I, I'm going to have a trauma response to the mention of MD 2020s. That is, you should seek professional help immediately if you're doing that. It fan, your typical Bud Light fan, is like NASCAR, fucking sports, like, that's most of the people that are drinking Bud Light. Guys like Shane. Mogan David most Wine Corporation. I, you saw the Bud Light demographics yeah. of who's drinking Bud oh, Light. Oh, MD is it. Mogan David. It's not <laughs> Mad Dog. I thought this was. <laughs> Guys like Shane. <laughs> Shane is Mad Dog Shane. a separate? <laughs> yeah. Is Mad Dog a separate drink? No, I thought that that was, this is what, I, these are called Mad Dogs, no? I've literally, I did not know the actual name of this. I did not know, I, as someone who drank it uh, in my lowest moments, I did not know that this was actually Mogan David Weinko. Why did you just actually, my fucking, like, uh, you know, my 20s, my early 20s. Actually, it's Mogan David. It's not Mad Dog. Okay, yeah, sick, I man. Saw Shane's it. my boy. What the fuck was I going to say? Jesus Christ, you threw me off. Yeah, it wasn't the honey. No, <laughs> the honey's no. in there, though. No, there's not like, yet. There's a little current you popping around it? in there. It might be the cigar. Mm, probably cigar. Yeah. yeah. Can I have that lighter again? Yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. you. Um, fuck, I lost it. You were talking, talking about, about oh, yeah, just oh. how uh, the target demographic of Bud Light. But it's like a lot of companies are using this person. Yeah. There's more than one company. There's like a, a bunch of them, like Nike and a bunch of other stuff. Also, yeah. she's pretty. I get it. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I see nothing wrong. Good luck. Hey, man. Yeah, it's Here's it's a, one of those things. It's like it's funny what people get like super outraged about. You know, like we're in the middle of, uh, you know, Tulsi Gabbard posted up some stuff the other day um, about the uh, Restrict Act. And uh, you flip the top. Here, I showed you before. Pull the top back. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I did it before you before. That's like one of those teach a man to fish things. Yeah. It's not going to be lit. You no, know, I know. Yeah. I got to get rid of that but, ash. But, you know, like no one's freaking out about that, but they're freaking out about Bud Light. Like how you how is that the big deal? I think it's goofy because I think that person's goofy. But if you want to hire a goofy person, like who gives a shit? It's kind of hilarious when someone says 365 days of womanhood. It was also on April Fool's Day. That's true too. But That's it also fucked. was just a can with that person's face on it. Yeah. That's all it was. It was a it wasn't like something they were selling. Yeah, they didn't but have it kind, in stores. No, but it's kind of funny. Yeah. I like that people get mad. I thought what Kid Rock did was funny. I laughed at it. I told him I thought it was funny. And but I also it doesn't make me mad. Not at all. It just makes me like, "What?" Well, like I think that, it's I just we... like I get what they're doing though. They're trying to get people that are popular. They're just, they're just looking for influencers to help them. And they're trying to look. Joe Rogan has changed, brother. He's gone woke. He's fucked up. Wholesome Mad Dog 2020. I am my bin. neighbor Fred's favorite childhood drink. He's been looking okay. for these for over ten years. I want it. I couldn't find a replacement. How's it going, Fred? Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, I got you something, man. <laughs> Check out what I found for you. Oh my God! Ah! Let it go! <laughs> ah, man! What's in there, man? Come on, let it go! Let it go! I found them at the gas station in Charlotte, four hours from no here. No shit! I couldn't find the grape flavor, man. Keep the the red wine. Sorry about that. Hey, I'm tasting it now. I'm going to get that metal and hey, drop. Were the ones in the um in the cans? <laughs> Are aren't you more used to the ones in the glass bottles? You. He said, "I'm giving it a taste right now." This guy's like, <laughs> this guy's off the wagon, boys. I mean, <laughs> uh oh. Mmm, delicious. See, I grew up on this here, and they're in the glass bottles, right? Playing basketball, 
Franklin, everybody. Damn. Mad Dog. Mad, Mad Dog, dog, dog and Tiger Rose. I yeah. found my neighbor. For what? What wonderful place that the, do these people live in that they are four hours removed from like being able to purchase a glass bottle Mad Dog? Because like, it's great. It's awesome. They should not actually have to search it. They should just never have it. I think you went blind from alcoholism. Every damn liquor store has it. The fuck? Is there, are there parts in the country where they don't have it? Trees are South Carolina, Georgia, or Alabama. This fucking guy, bro. Immediately, GeoGuessr coordinates, uh, ready to fucking rock. Oh my god! I, I think I got a, like a fucking contact drunk from watching that. Look more inclusive because yeah. of the uh, you know assumptions people make about Bud Light drinkers. But those assumptions. <laughs> and also, look at us. We're on yeah. the biggest platform in the world discussing Bud Light for like ten minutes. Right, it's it worked for the brand. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Shane loves it. I just I don't. Get it. I like Miller Light more. I like Sam Adams. I like a dark beer. Oh, I want a beer like I can a, have like, like seventeen of. Man. Oh really? Yeah, I want to be sipping beer all night. There you go. Joe Rogan is woke now, fellas. 